Hello and welcome to this presentation. My name is Lee Snyder, the product manager for the steel segment here at Trimble. And today I want to introduce a new option that's available in the property pane in Tecla Structures version 2019i. So before I show the new option, I want to show how the current property pane works. This will work for any command, but I'm going to go ahead and just use the column as an example. So I'll go ahead and double click to activate that command. You can see that I have settings that are loaded in here for me to be able to use. And now as I zoom in, I can just begin clicking and that's going to come in and model in these columns just as I would expect. So let's say that I needed to change one of these or make any modification. Again, this will work for any property, but just to make it easier to see, I'll just go ahead and use the class. So if I come in and modify any of these properties, as soon as I hit modify, what happens is those current settings are applied or set as a default for me to use the next time I use this modeling command. So if I come back and activate this column command again and model in these columns, you can see that instead of them being magenta, they are now gonna be this green class because that's the last setting that I changed or modified. So for those that use Tecla structures, prior to the property pane, we had dialog boxes. And in the bottom of each dialog box, we had a get, apply, and a modify option. The way that that worked is that if you selected something in the model, you could click on get. That would retrieve the properties from that selected object and populate the dialog box. You could then change any of those settings, click modify to change the objects that you have selected in the model. And then you could also select apply, which would then set those values to be used the next time you use that command. Well, when we migrated to the property pane, the get and the apply functionality was removed and automatically included in the property pane. So what that means is that when you select something in the model, for example, if I go select a new column, it automatically gets those settings and applies them. So now if I activate this modeling command again and click, you can see that it's going to use those new settings because it automatically got those when I selected them and applied them so that the next time I use that command, they would be utilized. Well, sometimes you want to go in and click on things within the model, but you don't necessarily want those settings to be applied. You just want to view what they are. So what we've done is we've added an option here in the property pane where you can toggle on or off the option to set these default values automatically. So by default, this option will be checked. That's the current functionality of the property pane. If you want to control manually when certain values are applied or set as a default, you can just simply deselect that option. And now you'll see this new button down here where you have the ability to control what's set as a default. So let's go ahead and start this exercise again. I'll just go ahead and activate the column command. Let's load in these standard settings and I'll show you the difference of how this new command works now. So now I have settings that are loaded so I can come in and click just as you would expect and it will model in those columns with my current properties. If I click on something here to modify the class, for example, or any other property, I can go ahead and click on modify. But now when I go back to activate that command again, it's using the original settings. So it's not automatically applying things after I modify them. So let's go ahead and click this column again. We'll show one more example where we change the class and click modify. And now I can also choose at any time to set as default. So if I want that red class now to be my default, I can activate that command and now I can begin modeling these columns in. So what this option allows you to do is to choose whether properties are automatically applied or if you want to choose when to manually apply or set certain default settings. So as mentioned, this is available in Tech with Structures version 2019i. We invite you to try it out, send us any feedback that you may have, and we hope you enjoyed this new development.